First, the clutch, brake, and gas. The left pedal is the clutch. The middle pedal is the brake. And the right pedal is the gas. When starting the car, you should have both the clutch and brake pedals pressed. This is the gear shift. We will now review the shifter positions, one through reverse. First position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, neutral, and reverse. This is the handbrake. Unlike automatic cars, the handbrake is essential when parking. Always use the handbrake. Remember when starting the car, you always hold the clutch and brake, making sure the car is in neutral before you start it. Always be sure to keep an eye on your dashboard. In order from left to right is the fuel gauge, RPM gauge, oil gauge, and miles per hour. Some dashboards may be different. Be sure to check. To start the car moving, it must be in first gear. Be sure to hold the clutch and brake before you shift into gear. Also, remove the handbrake. Remove the clutch slowly while applying gas up to 1500 to 2000 RPMs to get the car in motion. The needle is moving between 1,000 and 2,000 RPM. We will now go through the whole thing smoothly. Remember the pedals, clutch, brake, and gas. The stick shift and all of the gear positions. And the handbrake. Be sure you know what all the gauges on your dashboard mean. First, be sure the clutch and brake are depressed. Be certain that your gear shift is in neutral. You can check by moving it from side to side. Ignition. Give the engine some gas. Keep your foot on the brake and clutch. Remove your foot from the brake. Release the handbrake. Shift into first, slowly remove your foot from the clutch and give the engine gas. We will now review from an outside angle, once again, the whole process, clutch, brake, car in neutral, start, shift to first, removing the clutch and applying gas. Always be sure to wear a safety belt. Here it is in neutral. Car. Remove the handbrake. Give the engine gas. And you're off. Shifting. While you are moving in any gear, to shift, you remove the gas, push in the clutch, 
then shift to the next gear. Then you reapply the gas and remove the clutch to engage the engine properly. When parking, pull into a parking spot and holding the gas and brake, pull the handbrake, shift into first gear and turn off the engine. In an automatic car, you would only hold the brake, put the car into park and turn it off. Stalling can occur when you are not successful when starting in first gear. What happens is the car's RPM drops and the car stops. To restart, the car must be in neutral with both pedals depressed. The car can become jerky when you do not apply enough gas. Also, if you add too much gas and let go of the clutch, you can burn the tires. While in motion, if you miss shift from a higher gear to a lower gear, the engine will over rev. These are all bad for the engine, and to do so frequently would be bad for your car. Always be aware of one's shifting. He just shifted from fifth to third gear. Now our final lesson, hills. When you start on a hill, simply apply more gas than usual. And there you go. Thank you for watching. We hope that our video has taught you how to drive a manual transmission car.